Hello everybody. We are up on Priest Lake in northern Idaho and we are going to paddle through the thoroughfare. We just left the Beaver Creek campground. There's a couple of houses right here. But we are geared up for the night. We're gonna paddle away. It's a little bit choppy here as you can see. It was white capping a little bit ago. But we're trying her anyway. thoroughfare As you can see the water's a lot nicer we had to uh, pull a pull the canoe over the top of the sandbar to get here or we had to go around a big break but all right a couple more kayakers and people in the canoe We're over here in the thoroughfare man it's beautiful Hi Sadie. Hi. What do you think, Teresa? Oh, this is awesome. It's pretty neat. <gasps> yeah, once you get up past all the people. <laughs> it's great. The sun's gonna come out. Looks like uh seen some fish jumping. A couple surfacing over there. Right there's the, uh, the portage to bypass what me and Teresa just did. And uh, right at the top of the portage is a parking lot that you can uh, park park if you, if you don't have a big load. Me and Teresa have a pretty big load today, so we decided not to do it. But we'd have missed all that good fun on back there. Just coming into the, the upper lake. One of our most favorite spots. Yeah, we've been here many a times. Isn't that nice? There's some fishing rules and regulations over there. We've been seeing a lot of fish swim by underneath of us. It's so clear back there and it was only about 15 foot deep so it was, we could see some pretty nice fish down there. Yeah, it looks like a pretty good camp spot. Well, we uh, passed a few camp spots um, back there. It looked pretty nice, but um, oh, we don't think the one had a bear box, so we decided to keep on going. It's beautiful paddling. The lake is just glass. We've covered a pretty good distance from the whole way over there. This goblin's knob. <laughs> yeah, goblin's knob up there. But we're heading for this point over there. And, uh, Find us a camp spot. I think Sadie's ready to get out. <laughs> Alright guys, we found our spot here. It's got a nice beach. It's got a nice uh, huge fire pit. And uh, I can see fish out there surfacing. Sadie's enjoying herself. <laughs> so is Teresa. 
we just got our tent set up back there. No deadfalls that we could see and, uh, and stuff. So I'm going to uh, continue to set up camp and I uh, got my got my saw there and uh, I got my Waterlings axe and I picked up this this thing to hold a lantern and uh, shoot I think it was like three dollars you know that way you didn't have to put spikes in the tree I'll take this one with me but there's a couple nails in it too but I think this camp spot gets used quite a bit it's pretty uh, pretty scarce of um, of dead wood just kind of laying around but there's a lot of birch so it's gonna be easy starting to fire we just gotta get a a little a little bit going okay so we're we're here we're putting up a clothesline because there's a lot of sand and Sadie seems to be getting it everywhere um, so this is a mooring hitch so we're just putting up a small clothesline so we're just gonna wrap it around just like this this comes over the top and this comes through I might not have enough there but goes like this and it tightens her right up. So we're gonna pull it over here and wrap it around. Okay, so we got it over to the other side and then we're going to go and under. You're gonna loop it around one time and then one more time, two times. And three times, of which I always make fun of Tom because I say three times a lady. <laughs> and then fourth time, you come all the way around and add those two in, but leave the loop. And we're going to bring her through and pull it tight. And then this here will move down which I'm not real good at that. And we got a nice little place to hang everything <laughs> that we need. It's Teresa's first time doing that. Yes. <laughs> it took me a while, but we did it. Yay. <laughs> now if I can good remember job. it, good it'll job. be good. <laughs> good job. <laughs> awesome. Yep. Awesome, awesome, huh? Alright, Teresa's over there hard at work sawing. <laughs> sawing up, found some dead standing cedar and some birch stuff. We got the fire going. Just uh, small twigs and shavings. And uh, off she goes. Beautiful evening. Alright, well we got my old Coleman lantern <laughs> going. It's the, it puts out a great amount of light. Teresa's enjoying her chair. That Sadie Mae down there wrapped up in her blanket on a pad. Well, she got kind of wet, so I'm yeah. real concerned she's going to get cold. cold. Firewood. That uh, birch that I pulled down, it was uh, standing dead, but I don't know how long they keep watering them because it definitely had some water in it. But I pulled it down. I didn't have to saw it or anything. I pulled that thing down. It was only about 15 foot tall. It had broke off. All right, guys. Dinner's on. Got some steaks. I'm gonna sear them. Oh. Gonna sear them up. Try and cook them in the coals. But They're pretty thick. It's gonna take a while. All right, Teresa's got some uh, <laughs> mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes and steak. And steak. Big chunks of steak. I didn't have the right knife, so it's good. Yep. <gasps> mm. Now, what would you rate that on? <laughs> this one's yeah. 
Steak is a 10. <laughs> <laughs> Mountain house, eat your heart out. Yeah, and regular mashed potatoes, that's good. Nice, gotta love canoe camping. Mm -hmm. Trace is getting everything set up there. Huh? We got our, our lantern inside our REI yeah, half dome. Trace is uh, testing out her new uh, bag from Sierra Trading Post. It has been getting into, oh, almost fell. Uh, <laughs> about 30 degree range, you know, as we've been getting, we've been getting frost and stuff, but uh, so this will be a good test.